Thorlap's OTKB Modular Optical Tweezers System is designed as a complete optical trapping system for the capture and manipulation of microscopic sized objects. The modular design allows the optical trap to be easily modified to add functionality. In this video, we will unpack and install an OTKB system. The OTKB is broken down into several modules for shipping purposes. Be sure to inspect the parts and compare the contents to the packing list. To aid in the safe and successful alignment of the OTKB, we recommend several accessories. Laser safety goggles should be worn whenever the system's laser is turned on during installation. Electrostatic discharge protection is also required whenever handling the system's laser. Gloves should be worn whenever handling optics. A power meter can be utilized for the precision alignment of the tweezer system. Installing the laser system. Using the recommended fiber scope, inspect all of the system's fiber connectors. Clean each fiber tip before using it in the OTKB system. Next, we want to install the laser diode into the integrated current and TEC controller. ESD protection should be used at this point. The 14-pin butterfly package should fit easily into the controller's socket. Ensure that the pigtail is oriented in the Type 1 direction. Secure the diode to the controller with the included screws and socket clamps. Attach the end of the pigtail to the connector on the inside of the controller. This will help prevent any unnecessary stress on the fiber, protecting the laser from damage. Attach the fiber patch cable to the connector on the outside of the controller. Place the beam expander module on the table. Remove the end cap and install the collimator mount and fiber collimator. Connect the other end of the fiber patch cable to the beam expander section as shown here. Next, ensure that the laser beam will be properly centered. To do this, first remove the front turning mirror section from the rest of the expander module and reposition the ER rods as shown here. Hang the included target on the ER rods and turn on the laser. Using the knobs on the mount, center the beam on the target. Once the beam has been properly centered, reattach the turning mirror onto the expander section and secure the cage rods. To ensure that the beam is well collimated and centered through the expander, remove the filter cube and beam block from the far end of the module. Attach the long ER rods that came with the system to the rear of the filter cube holder. Move the target along the rods to follow the beam. It should be centered and maintain a relatively constant beam size. Replace the filter cube and the beam block. Finally, check the centration through the exit of the beam expander module. Again, place the target on the ER rods and, using the knobs on the final mirror, center the beam on the target. Place the vertical module on the optical table. Ensure that you leave enough room to attach the beam expander later. Secure this module to the table with screws as shown here. Slide the beam expander module in front of the vertical module and ensure that the bottom of the vertical segment is level with the end of the expander. The vertical segment can be translated along its post to adjust its height. Once level, attach the two segments with the ER rods and tighten the set screws. Use the clamps that are included with the kit to secure the beam expander module to the optical table. When properly mounted, the beam expander module should not be pulled up off the table. Aligning the beam through the vertical setup is a crucial step for the proper operation of the OTKB system. Be sure to use laser goggles when aligning this section, as the laser beam will be directed up from the optical table. 
use low power, about 10 milliwatts, for the alignment process. Remove the upper iris and install it at the top of the vertical module as shown here. Remove the lower 30 mm cage plate to access the bottom iris. Both irises should be closed down until they are about 1 mm in diameter. This will define the center line along which the beam must be aligned. Carefully remove the dichroic mirror. Use the laser viewing card to observe the beam after the two irises. The beam should be well centered in each iris. Use the final mirror of the beam expander to center the beam on the lower iris and the bottom mirror of the vertical segment to center the beam on the upper iris. It may help to start with the irises opened wider than one millimeter, closing them down as the beam is walked into position. Repeat these steps until the beam is centered on both irises. A power meter after the second iris can help speed up the process of walking the beam into position. Open up the irises and inspect the beam after each one using the laser viewing card. Make sure the beam is uniform and is not clipped. Once properly aligned, the laser should be turned off for the remainder of the installation. Replace the lower 30 mm cage plate and install the bottom objective. Return the upper iris to its original position and install the top objective. Replace the dichroic mirror. It should be oriented at about 45 degrees. Ensure the bottom objective is set low enough so that the stage will be able to clear it when installed, about halfway down the ER rods holding the lower cage plate. There should be about 6 mm of separation between the objectives. The 60 mm cage segment holding the top objective can be positioned to obtain the proper separation. Install the white light source on the top of the vertical module. The camera module mounts onto the filter cube face opposite of the beam expander's output, as demonstrated here. Slide the camera onto the ER rods and secure with the set screws. Each support post is composed of a post, a spacer, and a base. Using the set screw, assemble each post as shown here. Mount the translating breadboard to the four support posts. Then attach the NanoMax translation stage to the breadboard. Finally, mount the slide holder to the translation stage. Once assembled, slide the translating breadboard forward and position the slide holder in between the objectives of the tweezer system. Then secure the stage to the table. Place the T-Cube hub on the table out of the way of the OTKB system and secure it to the table. Plug in all the appropriate cables and power cords. Turn on the white light source and observe the image on the camera. Close the camera's iris and, using the camera's mirror, center this dot on the camera. Once centered, remember to open the iris once again. Your optical tweezers kit is now assembled, aligned, and ready for use. Thank you for watching ThorLab's OTKB assembly tutorial. For more information on our tweezers kit and additional modules, 
please visit our website.